Uh, hold up. Let's just try to show how this works. Basically, oil. This is the same oil type without this on top, which I mentioned the other day for motor oil. And I don't want to get into this right now, but I did mention it, not to go off the track, but there you go. If you were to dispense, you could actually turn around and dispense this by leaving this closed and then allowing just the amount that you desire to place into, uh, of course, on your, if this, this is corn oil, on your salad and everything else. Say, if, if, of course, this was on your salad, but if you, these were used for your car, eliminating the plastic ones, you could fill right up, and do you see the way you have full control? And you can lock it right in, you don't get anything on your hands. And then again, I did get a little speck on my hands. All right, so another is we mentioned about motor oil, transmission oil. Say this was a, uh, we'll even take the smaller one of the two. This, was, this has transmission fluid in, and you wanted to put, add a little transmission fluid where you can get to. Just to show you how you could control this. Add what you want. Say this is, you know, for the car. And then again, I'm holding it up. If you wanted to, you could open it up and place it directly on the um, on the on the orifice where the uh, the out the, the the round circular portion, depending if it's how wide it is and how 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 small it is, the hole it still will go in. Again, real quick, I'm filling up my simulating that I'm filling up my car, and then I shut it off. And then you place it down. Uh, then again, if it was your, if it was motor oil, even a little bit simpler. Let me just make sure this is still going. It's still going. So this is good. Here you go. See, this was motor oil, and there it is. There, you just took off your the top for your. Uh, I'm going to have to skip all of this. When we do the automotive, I'll make a note. I'll skip this. All right. Again, turn it over. And there you go. You notice you can place the motor oil right in. You have full control. You can close it. You can open it. Close it, open it as many times as you want. You could open, take it, take it, check, check the uh, the stick, place it in. You need a little bit more, and this basically eliminates the need for these or one of these uh, pull push. It would remain um, inside the pressure sensitive container. Then again, you could leave this in your trunk, discard, recycle the cardboard alone. That's uncontaminated from the oil. If you do, you might have to, you know, whatever you have to do, clean that section. Then again, you have this, and you can place it in your toolbox. This will be a little bit bigger, but you can place this in your toolbox every now and then. If you need, you can actually utilize all that oil to, uh, like I say, um, oil anything you want, hinge or anything, and this, no longer will the oil be inside a, uh, a, a container. It will be all in here, uh, all in one. So there you close it up. So that's about it for for this. Um, I'm looking around. Actually, I see one more. Here's just something that was with condiments. And then again, when I checked to see if there was um, the type of oil we used in here, and it was olive oil, I noticed I left a uh, automatic mayo 